The disappearance of five-year-old Taylor Williams. Her mother, Brianna Williams, is now charged with child neglect after investigators believe they found the little girl's remains in Alabama. This video now believed to be Brianna Williams brought into the hospital this afternoon, led by security officers. She was flown by chopper from NS Jax to UF Health for emergency treatment of an overdose of some kind. Williams is now in serious condition. This came just hours after police in Alabama confirmed the discovery of remains between the cities of Linden and Demopolis near the area where Brianna Williams grew up. In the past 30 minutes, Sheriff Mike Williams said the investigation is far from over. Along with child neglect, Brianna Williams has also been charged with giving false information to police. In the past 10 minutes, the Navy sent us a statement which reads, quote, Brianna Williams remains administratively assigned to the Tactical Operations Center. The Navy is fully cooperating with civilian authorities as they continue to investigate, end quote. We have several reporters covering the major developments. We begin with News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott, who's joining us from UF Health. Jim? You know, I was trying to talk to hospital officials about Brianna Williams' condition. At this point, they really can't talk about that, only to say that it is serious. At least that's what we're learning from our sources. In fact, what we're learning from sources is that she's actually here. The sheriff didn't specifically say that, but we saw a helicopter land and from what we witnessed, a woman being taken inside. Take a close look at this video. Sheriff Williams says Brianna Williams overdosed at NAS Jacks and she was flown by helicopter to a local hospital. We saw the helicopter land and you can see the blade on top of the roof. And then shortly afterwards, we saw the stretcher led by two security guards and others around attending to the person. Because of privacy issues, hospital officials can't confirm that this is Brianna Williams. Now, there has been a question of why would they bring her to UF Health here and not treat her at the base? Well, that's because the Sheriff's Department has secured facilities here. They have officers here. So when people are placed under arrest, which she has now been charged with a neglect crime, they can watch her. There's obviously a suicide watch going on as well. For now, we're live at UF Health. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. Now to the part of the investigation going on in western Alabama where police discovered the remains believed to be Taylor Williams. The crime scene is between the cities of Demopolis and Linden. Family members had told News 4 Jax that police were focused on that area where Brianna Williams' cell phone had pinged. News 4 Jax reporter Corley Peel is joining us live from Alabama where family members are now talking with Corley about today's developments. Corley. Family members are saying that this is devastating. All week they've been hoping that Taylor Williams would be found and knowing that human remains were found here earlier. They're saying that this is heartbreaking and our news our news partner WVUA moments ago spoke with Taylor's great aunt, which is Brianna's aunt, Brianna Williams aunt, her mother, and they spoke to them in the house that Brianna Williams grew up in. This is what she has to say about today's discovery. I'm feeling a lot hurt. Yeah, it's just something. So it's unbelievable that this is going on right now. I mean, but uh, as a family, we're trying to work through it, you know, and just trying to get closer together. Now, this video shows several crews making their way into this crime scene here in a rural area in Alabama. We saw this not long after police announced that human remains were found in this wooded area. JSO Crime Seat Unit Vans and the State Bureau of Investigation, as well as several other undercover detectives have been here and JSO says that they received a tip that drove them to search this area of Alabama and we've learned from sources and from family members that Taylor's mother Brianna Williams phone pinged in this area. Again, Sheriff Williams announced moments ago during that news conference that they believe the remains found here today belong to Taylor Williams. We'll continue to keep you updated about this as soon as we know more. But if you want to take a look at this scene right now, you can see a lot of the crews have cleared out here. Now they do have some crews further up there that's going to be manning this scene tonight. But again, a lot of the crews have left from earlier this evening. But again, we'll continue to keep you updated as soon as we know more. Reporting live from Alabama, Corley Peel, Channel 4, the local station. Corley, Brandon Williams' hometown is Linden. How close is Linden, Alabama from these woods where you are now? I would say we're probably about 20 minutes away from Linden at this point. We're right 
smack dab in the middle between Demopolis and Linden right now. So again, this is definitely the area where Brianna Williams grew up and where a lot of her family members live. Corley Williams reporting live from Alabama. Thank you, Corley. As we mentioned a moment ago, that.